thank you very much to welcome me. Thank you very much to the European Academy. And thank you also to my colleague Susanna Kralic to speak about reproductive technologies in this age cohort is not a joke, but it is a reality. However, two generations, it means the, the generation of veterans and the, the so-called baby boomers, we also were coping with some reproductive problems as well. So I, I addressed my participation um, provocatively. Is sexual activity of older adults, it means 55 up to, it could be also 100, I'm not sure, I'm not in this period still. It is a myth or it is this a reality. However, the fact is that European, Hungarian, Slovenian and also other nationalities and societies, we are aging. So in the year 2050, here is the data, the proportion of um, the people who are after 65, which was the limit uh, named by the World Health or or Organization, will be about 2 million. It is a great number. And different states and different societies are coping with this problem also in a different way. This, of course, presents us with the major challenges and the societies and the different states are also, as I said, different coping with these problems. So my article raises the question, how to help older adults, not older or elderly, to remain independent and active also in the field of their sexuality for as long as possible? Not only that they are alive, but also that they are sexually active. And the second point, how to balance health promoting policies in order to achieve a higher quality of life. This is a key element of which is also the care of sexual health, which we have simply forgotten due to some misunderstandings. Although both age and sexuality are natural aspects of older adults' life, but they have been sidelined it for a long time. Discussion about sexuality in this older period are often avoided. They are miscompensations and they are full of stereotypes and tend to ignore it. We often come across the belief that older adults do not have sex. Why? Because they are too old, because it does sit well with them, and because they can't take it anymore. And the fourth point, that, se that sexuality and sex in life is in a kind reserved only for the youth, for younger generation. This in turn often leads to an under discrimination of their sexual and emotional needs. However, they are still alive. Such mindsets are the result of ignorance, the lack of information. It leads to one of the most harmful forms of discrimination in different fields of their lives. And it, is, and it pushed them further to the margins of our society. As a result of older adults deny their sexuality and begin to withdraw from relationships, it is leading to their social isolation, not only from each other, but in the whole society as well. What is satisfying our sexuality? It will be, for me, a Nobel Prize to be winning. It has been proven that sexual activity causes, as we know, young, middle, and older generation pleasure. It causes neuropsychiatric balance. It increases desire to live and diminish or eliminates the feeling of useless due to age. It is therefore a right that they should be treated, it means the older adults, equally 
also in this area of, of sexuality, just like younger adults and just like younger generations. But, however, the reality is that sexuality in my age, in the mood, in the technology, differs from your sexuality as well. Why we, came, uh, we have come to understand that a healthy eating, physical activity, and physical and mental health care uh, contribute to the overall well-being of older adults. It is also improved as an imperative to include sexual health care in this context. Sexual activity plays an important role in everybody's life and also in the existence of all living beings, be animals, be human beings. It is true that with the perception of sexuality changes with the age, as I said, with the mood, with the techniques and so on, but it is also true that this does not mean that it ends. It should be remembered that sexual satisfaction can be maintained even without reproductive function. It is normally, in my age, I am granny now, I could not be a mother from different kind, or from different point of view, not only biologically, it, it could be possible, as in India, as you know. But however, from my ethic point of view, I, I am very satisfied to play the role of grandmother as well. This reproductive function, that is, as long as there is a sincere attraction between the partners, it is possible as well. But we are also aware that there are some limitations, even we even if we have some different desires. What are, what have been, because our research is still going on, the purpose and what are the objectives of our result? The purpose of our result, uh, research was to determine the links between attitudes toward aging and their own uh, sexuality. Since we also find that there are no appropriate programs and guidelines for the promotion of sexual health of older adults in Slovenia. It means 55 to up to. But we, we have been, but uh, by our research, limited by the population. It means 55 to 75, as we'll be speaking later on. This uh, missing this insufficient, inconsistent, and ineffective in promoting the sexual um, health and sexual life needs in Slovenia, they are neglected. They are in no place. Is there a shame? Are they stereotypes? In, uh, in our research, we make this research up to different factors. They are here, as you see, on from coping with aging, stereotypes about the sexuality, then some attitudes toward, uh, toward sexuality, how, for example, family in which our, our adults have been brought up, or also some knowledge about the sexuality. You must be aware that uh, the, the, the generation of so-called baby boomers, we were coping in the 60s of so-called sexual revolution. Some of you probably know about it. We made a so-called quantitative cross-sectional research with the framework of the positives paradigm. We used our own online questionnaire. The data from the collected questionnaire were presented using the SPSS 1929 program. We also were aware that we asked uh, 1,050 older adults, 50 and plus, who participated in our research. But however, as we were aware that some of them didn't um, finish the questionnaire, we also have the final sample, which included 651 respondents. What are the results? More women that men were prepared to take part in our results. 
The average, of, uh, the average age of respondents were 64 years. We made this research in Slovenia, and the most respondents were from Slovenia region, when I came from, but this was only in coincidence, and also from Carinthia, and the viewers from Primorska and Notraska region and the Pesavska region. Most of the respondents were married, because marriage to this generation was a must-done situation. Or some of them were also lived in another kind of um, cohabitation and followed by widows. Sexuality is more important to those respondents who have received non-violent and democratic education in the family and least important to those who have uh, received violent education in the family. The sexual activity of the respondents differ statistically significantly depending on the members of the household. Most of the respondents who live with the, their grandchildren, it means in the so-called extended family, state that there are no sexuality, that they are not uh, sexuality active anymore, but they, are, they will be followed by the respondents who live with their children. Sexuality is important according to the view of the state, is uh, important for both atheist and Catholic, but least of all or for orthodox believers. We didn't ask why. Why? This is our next uh, research. There is a low correlation between current health status and satisfaction with sex life. Satisfactory sexuality, regardless of age, means a healthy life, although on average they agreed the most that the older adults find it difficult to tell to talk about sex. Most respondents told us that they have sex one to three times a month. By gender, women are more likely to be sexual activity three times a month compared to men while men are more likely to have sex more than three times a month compared to women. We find that the importance of sexuality differs statistically significantly depending on the education, and also it differs between the sexes. Basis aspects of sexuality of both, such as trust, respect, and tenderness, are equally important for all respondents. Most of the sexual concerns are not shared with anyone. But with whom? By gynecologist, it means for, from, for the woman, social gerontologist, where I came from, and nurse. Individuals who have more knowledge about sexuality report greater sexual satisfaction. In terms of education, we also attack them with a question about men and osteopaths. They have been all interested in this field as well. The first two topics are closely related to the psychological and physical changes that occur in the old age. The research, however, highlights the importance of understanding sexuality as a key element of older adults' quality of life. The results also confirm the need for a holistic approach to promoting sexual health and satisfaction in the life of older adults. Therefore, we developed a conceptual model of integrated sexual health promotion education for older adults, which includes complex holistic solution, and this is a picture of this model. We wanted to promote it also to the Minister of Health and also to the Minister for Future in the Republic of Slovenia. We focused on needs and realistic expectation. They are more consistent with the current situation and important for the older adults. The model also takes into account the acceptance of age limits. And we were based on the 
um, wet uh, war, war has uh, uh, a recommendation for sex, for healthy and safe uh, sex life. We are aware that on primary health care level, with the help of a developed integration model of quality sexual health care for all the adults, we enable the restoration or improvement of sexual function, also in late period of the life. It enables the expansion of guidelines with the primary level of different, of different clinics, of different hospitals, of different centers. By expanding the model with the primary level network and later the participation of an interdisciplinary professional team, it means a doctor, a physician, a, regi a registered nurse, a social gerontologist, a psychotherapist, kinesiologist, sociologist, psychologist, and so on, we will be an able individual as a group treater and a holistic approach as a set. We also uh, want to encourage them to develop a positive outlook on sexuality and to choose appropriate lifestyle habits as well. The starting points are also important for strengthening knowledge and improving communication between public health institutions in Slovenia, health professionals, educators, policy makers, in the context of efforts to address the sexual health of older adults or sexual health care for older adults. More sexual education programs for older adults are needed. Some thoughts for conclusion. The mentality that people's sex life does not belong in old age is the biggest obstacle to sex life in old age. As a society, as a postmodern society, and the postmodern society is a society in which predicted to be predicted, it's in everyday life. That the upper age limit for sexual activity is not set by society, but it is set by each individual on the basis of their desires and abilities. With an appropriate approach to older adult sexuality that does not limit their desires or set strict boundaries, we can contribute to creating a more open, a more positive and safe environment for sex health in wider society. Taking stigma, providing adequate information and improving access to health and psychological services for older people remains a key, challenge, a key challenge, not only for our society, but also our, to our policy makers. However, I thank you for your intention with a thought. Speaking openly, without shame, the sexuality of older adults is a right and should not be a taboo. Thank you very much. Thank you.